Hey, Brian from Gotcha Mahal. If you have an older wheelbarrow, uh, inevitably your tires are basically gonna get dry rotted, get destroyed, lose air pressure, all nine yards. Uh, you can put air pressure in them. However, if you don't keep air pressure in them all year round, which I'm forgetful and I do myself, uh, when they start to crumble down, they dry rot, they crack, and you end up having to replace them. So I found a uh, great wheelbarrow replacement and basically uh, just measure your wheel and it's kind of like shaft and usually if you look at them uh, you can usually get like a manufacturer's name or something off of them this one happens to be a marathon uh, I've actually had this wheelbarrow for probably about 10 years and this is the second wheel I'm actually replacing uh, this wheel I put on probably about five years ago roughly might, might have been closer to six uh, but again I leave them outside all year round and they just uh, you end up just having to replace them. Anyway, so these are great replacements. I've had a couple of these on a couple different wheelbarrows that I've had. Uh, love these tires. That's why I ended up getting a, another one. So um, basically what you're doing is you are going to be replacing or loosening this axle shaft. You only have to do one side, so not a big deal. I think we only have to do one side from what I remember. Anyway, uh, this happened to be a... 13 millimeter socket, so. Get that bolt off. Get that one off. And simply lift up on this, slide this little piece out of the way. Then you can pull this axle shaft out. And then that tire obviously is garbage. I'm gonna throw off set to my big little dumpster thing here. And this has a uh, kind of like a washer spacer set on it. So cut these out. And they will go flying, so make sure you kind of keep them inside the wheel part. Alright, so we got that disconnected. And these are going to be all your spacers. So we're going to put these down here for a quick second. And we're going to pull the zip tie through. Uh, I'm going to put this label off on the side. It does have a barcode uh, on here, so but just make sure to match. I'm going to actually put this in my workshop. So I got this handy. So next time, five, six years from now, I know what wheel to replace it with. Then we're going to be looking for our spacers. So I think we're going to use our, our longer one first. We're going to slide that on a shaft, slide that through, and we're going to see how that fits on there. So it kind of help keep it centered. So I'm going to need a couple more. So I think I'm probably going to end up using uh, two more spacers on either side. So we'll just put one and two. We got those spacers on. Put that through. So we're going to use the long, then the shorter ones. It doesn't really matter what order you put them on, just as long as you have enough space on there. And I think that's going to be about it. Slide this into place. I think I got one too many spacers on here. So let me see if I can. Oh, actually, nope. That's going to be perfect. I'm going to hold it right in the center. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's put these nuts back on. Start one thread. Bolt nut set. Spacers in. Excellent. Wheel spins freely. 
Now it calls for 30 pounds of pressure, so make sure that you inflate this. I inflate them probably about twice a year, depending on how much use I put on them. Uh, springtime after the winter, and usually before winter. Here's our little black and nectar matrix system. pounds max pressure in put that cap on make sure it's nice and snug and always make sure that you keep your valve stem lined up that's always a pretty important thing but other than that that uh that is your repaired wheel barrel and it has a grease fitting here so you can add some grease to it if you wanted to um, i usually just kind of give it a spray of wd-40 as i as i go i get the spray some here other side of the shaft just to help keep it retain some of the rust. And then put some of the plastic gaskets, spacers. And then other than that, that keeps that spinning nice and good. Anyway, uh Ryan for Garage Mahal, that's your uh, new wheel barrel replacement wheel. Be safe out there.